It's uh, 6.30 p.m. on Sunday, March 26th, 2023. Yeah, that's correct, 26. And we're moving them to the last cell of this row this Sunday afternoon. It's about 82 degrees outside. Nope, not a cloud in the sky. Just a little hazy on the horizon. Beautiful day. And uh, the bulls are where they're supposed to be, the bull calves. Now the cows are where they're supposed to be. So, look at that. They're just lazily eating. And this isn't even April yet, so we really haven't hit the growing season yet. It's just starting. It's going to take off and just get worse and worse. Well, better and better, I should say. Uh, until we reach about May or June. And then there's going to be a transition to the summer grass. But if we do it just right, or rather if the weather works in our favor, the summer grass will, will be there as soon as the, well, before the spring grass is done. Look at those white flowers on that prickle bush. That's a berry bush of some kind, raspberry or something. And I saw a bunch of these little pink, purple flowers. The hairy vets, there you go. There's some right here. These flowers are all over the place now. And I saw some Indian, um, Indian paintbrush, I think it's called, um, along the side of the road. That stuff is beautiful. I love that stuff. It's like, when you see it for the first time in real life, pictures can't do it justice. It's like burns in your, in your eyes, the, the red and the beautiful colors that it makes. So, you know, we have in, uh, in the Pacific Northwest up there on Mount Rainier, there's this part called Paradise. And in the middle of summer, the glacier kind of retreats, you know, because it melts and stuff. Look at this blue is going to town. <clears throat> the glacier retreats and there's these beautiful flowers, these alpine flowers that only grow up at that elevation. And it's, it's a beautiful area. And there's you can see fantastic photos of it, but you know, this is this is just as amazing to me. The the flowers that grow in the in the grass. And this is just the beginning. They're gonna change colors and different flowers are gonna come out and it's gonna get thicker. You know. I just love it. What a beautiful time. I mean spring is so so amazing here in Texas. Um starting to get warm. That's all I can say about that. See there's a oh there's a little ant colony here. So I don't mind the ants. Look at the grass growing around the ant colonies. They're doing something good for my pasture. I wouldn't mind having them everywhere. Other than them being a nuisance, they're doing a lot of good for the soil. So I'd rather have them than not. Ooh, here's a bunch of clovers. Look at all those clovers. That's amazing. That's amazing. Yeah. It's like every, every step I take, there's some amazing plants growing. This is just fantastic. This is part of the burn pasture where the fire ripped through. And you can kind of see the soil is a darker color here. There's some of that, that ash or soot left over. Let me go look at my neighbor's back 20 here. This is part of my neighbor's back 20. They let me graze back here. They want to keep it natural. So uh, I'm going to ask them though, ask if I can cut down a bunch of the dead trees and uh, maybe make a burn pile somewhere. Or alternatively, just stack it in a place, make a wood pile uh, for the critters to live in. The thing I really want to do is, is uh, you see this fence line? I want to clear the trees back from the fence line all around the property. That'll make it a little easier to manage. Um, there's, oh, here we go. This is some of that Indian paintbrush I was talking about. Now, <clears throat> I'm going to compare the color on the screen versus the color I see. So what you see is kind of like a fluorescent red with some yellows. Um, what I see is just a beautiful, vibrant color. This thing is going to be even more amazing in the coming days and weeks. So... Yeah, that's some of that Indian paintbrush. Yeah, the first time I saw that, I was—I I never thought I'd see a color like that in my entire life. 
because the computer screens can't replicate it. You certainly can't print colors like that. You know. So it is fantastic. So one of the reasons why this is a little shorter is the cows, um, for the longest time I didn't have water on my field except at the corner, down there in the northeast corner of the pasture. And so I had to set up a wire so the cows could walk the half mile all the way back to the beginning to get water. And even out here where they're only back here for a couple weeks at a time, they would cut a, a cattle trail and they would move in groups, walk all the way down, get some water, and then walk back to get some more grass. It just wasn't good. So I'm glad we got a watering solution now. Hey, 20. You know. Hey there, little guy. I should say little lady. The sun is warm. And I'm, I got sunburned last time I was out here yesterday, I think. I got a little sunburn. So I've got to keep my face shielded from the sun. I've got delicate, sensitive skin. <laughs> you know, I gotta be careful about staying in the sun too much. I gotta work in the shade. So, yeah, that tree might be dead too. I'll probably wait till May or June before I decide to cut trees down. What a beautiful area. I'm gonna try to take a panorama shot. Just surrounded by natural beauty. It's like a velvety carpet of green with the beautiful trees poking out through the ground. Yeah. All right, guys. Have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye.